Wow, it's amazing how things have changed with dive computers over the years. I've got three excellent dive computers that we're gonna be talking about. A lot of people come in the store and they call and they ask, hey, what's the most computer can I get for my budget? So I'm gonna be talking about these three and I think you're gonna enjoy it. Now these particular uh, computers that I have here are all risk computers. And what I did is I thought I would take uh, a computer from kind of the low end or the entry area for computers and then move into the higher end of the computers today. And you know, it's, it's kind of amazing because when I look at the computers here, these three in front of me, I've got a price point here of just under $300. And then I've got a price point over here of just under $1,100. And of course, the one in the middle is pretty much in the middle. Now, it's amazing because like I said, this computer here that is kind of the entry computer today, just a short three or four years ago, cost what this computer did. And of course, some of the features that this computer has, I wasn't even thought of. And same for this one. And of course, expecting some of the features that are in these two to even exist in a computer of this size was just unthought of. And of course, now this computer having a uh, Bluetooth, um, Again, you know, it's kind of one of those things just a few years ago, thinking that a dive computer would have Bluetooth uh, was just kind of beyond what we would uh, believe that could happen. But uh, what I've got here is I've got the Aqualung I300C. I've got the Scuba Pro Mantis 2.0, and I've got the Shearwater Terek uh, over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk through each of these based on what, uh, what these different areas are. Now, this is not going to be like a full review of any of these, but I think you're going to get a lot of information and it's going to give you at least a good starting point where you can start your search. So air integration, the I-300C, of course, is not air integrated. The Mantis 2.0 does offer air integration. Now, at these price points that I'm going to be telling you, these, do, these two do not include a transmitter, but a transmitter is easily obtainable for both of these. So, air integrated M2 and the Tarek is also air integrated. Modes. Now, it's kind of interesting because even the Aqualung I300 has three modes. The Mantis M2 has four modes. And one of the unusual things about the Mantis is that one of its mode is actually a swim mode. You can leave it on your arm or even put it on your, your ankle and then put into it uh, what they call reach uh, factors. And then when you swim, it will actually measure the number of strokes and the distance that you have, have gone. So that's uh, pretty slick. And of course, the Tarek is a five mode unit. Now, when I'm talking about modes, I'm talking about does it have free diving mode? Yes, yes, yes. Does it have normal scuba mode? Yes, yes, yes. Does it um, offer modes for, uh, for closed circuit rebreather CCRs? Yes, yes, no. And of course, does it have gauge mode? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. So that gives you some understanding. Now, one of the other things about it does how many 
programmable gases does it have? Now, here's the thing. If you're just diving air and nitrox, you're a normal uh, recreational diver, then the three gas unit, I-300C, is a wonderful unit. And again, guys, this is a sub $300 unit today, sub $300 unit. And of course, then we take a look at the Mantis. It is also a three gas unit. And then the Taric, the Taric is a five gas unit. Now, of course, the, the, the Taric is aimed at the more technical person, the more technical diver, and different mixes and things like that for their deco planning. So it's uh, you know it's it's a pretty it's a pretty robust type of, of computer uh, for the technical types. Power. Now this is all important to to all of us. Power the i three hundred uses a battery easily changeable. Uh, last about uh, about two years. The M2 is 300 dives or again approximately two years easily changeable. And the uh, Taric comes, if you look right down here in front, it comes with a recharger and depending on the number of dives, the length of the dives, that sort of thing, the Taric will last about uh, 30 to 50 hours depending on usage. And then you put it back in the uh, charger style. I would, I'm gonna just call it style, even though these are all wrist styles. Uh, these two could actually be worn as a wrist watch uh, when you're not diving. Maybe you're gonna go to the Caribbean, maybe you're gonna go overseas or whatever and you don't want to take a wristwatch and a dive computer, these two could actually be used in that particular capability. Now, the Taric is a bit bigger. I'm going to call it larger size than the M2. Now, one of the beauties about the Taric is the Taric case is a composite material. The bezel is stainless whereas the M2 has a solid stainless case with a stainless bezel. So it's a little weightier than the Taric, but both of these would be easy to use on your, um, as, a, as a watch. The i300, little too big for that, but again, if, you, you know, if you're looking for cost and things along those lines, you can just about have a wrist watch and have this unit or maybe you've already got a wrist watch that you would use. So I'm going to call this big. Now alarm, these are kind of interesting because uh, all of these have an audible alarm. The one thing about it is the i300 right down here between the two buttons has a little LED and it's a visual alarm, and it will actually pulse along with the alarm. So if you happen to be in a group of divers where there's four or five different alarms going off, it's easy to glance at your computer and see, hey, is that my computer going off because you're gonna see the light flashing. The M2, the M2 does not, it's strictly audible alarm. Now, something a little unique, about the Taric, it's audible and it has a vibration alarm. So that's a little different uh, than the other two. Now screen, both of the i300 and the M2 use the LCD screen, which is pretty, you know, pretty reliable, you know, been around for a while, that sort of thing. The numbers are large and easy to read. I'm gonna get some close-ups on these so you can see it but pretty, pretty easy to read. Now, the Taric, latest in technology out there. It has the color screen. It's an AM OLED, which means versus a standard color OLED. Then it responds a little bit faster. The black is a little deeper. And of course, uh, it's, it's super sexy, super sexy. And of course, it's programmable as to, you know, 
I want this color, I want that color, I want it custom. I think it's got a night color, it's got a predator color. If you remember the, the predator movies where everything was kind of green looking, it's got that sort of a look too. And briefly, you can push the button and cause it to go into a flashlight mode. Now, it's got to be in a really dark place. You know, I mean really dark for that to actually, you know, function. Now, Bluetooth, like I said, all three of these have Bluetooth. And you can download them to your computer, download them to your phone, put them into your, you know, dive log that way. There's some bookmark features uh, for some of these for like taking photos and, and things along those uh, lines. I'm not going to get into, again, evaluating, you know, all the ins and outs. But uh, like I said, I think if you evaluate the fact that this is a sub 300, this is a sub 600 without transmitter, the M2, and the Taric is sub 1100. I think with the transmitter, this one is about, I want to say 1300, if I'm not 1285, something like that. I, I think I've seen out there. The M2, the M2 can be had as a complete unit with a transmitter and a heart monitor if you like that particular function. Pretty, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. And of course, none of that applies to the, um, to the i300, but what a great price that is. So again, this is just a brief overview of uh, three compute and you know, a various uh, level of ranges. I hope you got a lot out of it. If there's a particular computer out there you would like us to take a look at, and I'm going to be taking like a group of uh, the computers around this range doing something similar, a group of computers around this range, and a group of computers around the uh, Taric price range and putting something together for you folks out there. So again, we really appreciate you guys visiting the Diver Supply website. Again, my name's Bob Collins, and as I always say, God save.